AJ Rizek here and today we're going to take a look at how to install Microsoft Office on your Linux system using Play on Linux. Now before we go any further I just want to say up front I am not getting into the politics of whether you should or should not install proprietary Microsoft software on your Linux system. Uh, you know that's a debate for another time I'm just going to focus on how to do it here I know there's plenty of people that use Linux systems and they are how would I say it they're very much anti Microsoft either because it is proprietary software or because of Microsoft's business practices whatever the reason don't want to get into that today I'm just going to show you how to do it uh, because there are practical reasons why you may want to run this on your Linux system. Uh, for example, if you're somebody that all day long at work you use Microsoft Office, uh, I can see why you know uh, you, you don't want to learn new software. You just want to use the same thing that you're used to using day in day out because you're efficient with it and whatnot. Uh, you know, it's your comfort zone. Okay, so that you know that part of it makes sense. Uh, for those of us that are using it for work, whether whether you like to admit it or not, there's not a single piece of, of software out there that has perfect compatibility with Microsoft's proprietary formats. And once again, I'm not going into the debate today of whether you should or should not be using the proprietary formats once again if you're using it for work you're you're going to be stuck with what your employer slash clients um, you know are willing to work with you know in my case uh, I do a lot of freelance writing and in all of the submissions I have ever made to a magazine publisher any of that I have never ever met one that wanted something other than uh, doc or docx format that, that's just that's what they all wanted and you know as as the freelancer a guy trying to break into a new magazine um, you know it's not my place to say I want you to change formats the format that everyone at your magazine uses and that every one of your other uh, um, freelancers use just to suit me you know it's you see what I'm saying uh, grant I, I would much rather see open document format used um, but this is the world that we live in and uh, you got to be practical about such things so to do this installation we're going to use a piece of software called play on Linux now if you're not familiar with it Play on Linux is a front end for Wine, and you know, if you don't know what Wine is, it, that probably doesn't help you out either. So, let me uh, talk a little bit about it. Here's on the Wine homepage. Uh, as you can see, it says right here, Wine was originally an acronym for Wine is not an emulator, it is a compatibility layer capable of running Windows applications on several. Well, we don't need to get into the rest of that basically for the for the layman understanding that it lets you run Windows programs is enough alright now what play on Linux is it's essentially a front end uh, a graphical front end for wine that um, uh, basically it makes it easier for doing the installation and, and those sort of things now pretty much every distribution has access to both wine and play on Linux <clears throat> excuse me uh, if you are on a Ubuntu based distribution you can pull these up right from the software center uh, you know I'm right now I'm running um, Manjaro uh, both play on Linux and wine were in the repositories there um, you know pretty much every distribution I, I think has access to both of these so uh, you know you should have no trouble getting getting those pieces of software installed so let me close this up and let's open up play on Linux 
and we'll get the show on the road. All right, so we've got Play on Linux up and running. Let's go and do our installation here. So we're going to click on Install. Come on down here to where it says Office, and we're going to select Microsoft Office 2010 because that's what we're using. Now you can do some of the earlier versions. We've got 07, 03, 2000 are all listed there. You can install stuff that's not listed here using this install a non-listed program. Um, but uh, what I said, basically, uh, to kind of back up just a little bit, all these selections right here, they have already done all of the work to make sure that your installation goes smoothly. It's got all the settings needed, whatnot. So while you can use this option down here, uh, it may or may not work. It may be a little glitchy. You may have to make some changes afterwards. So that's just kind of a heads up. You know, you can do it. But, so anyway, we'll go and we'll do our installation now. Click install. Get this little box that pops up. Click next. One thing that I've found was a little glitchy, at least on my system. If you click on the use DVD ROM, it couldn't find it. But what I did is I went to use the setup file on my computer click next, click the browse. If you go over to file system, Office 14, that's the Microsoft Office DVD that's in my uh, computer right now. So, you know, I click that, click the setup file, and open. Click next. And I'd already done this once just to make sure it was going to work correctly. Um, but, uh, you know, so that's why this is popping up. Normally, this wouldn't have, you know, popped up. But anyway, so I'm going to overwrite it. Actually, no. I'll erase it and redo it. And depending on what Play on Linux has to download to make your installation work, this may or may not take a while. You know, if you've never installed Wine or anything like that, it, it's probably going to take some time. So we're going to type in our Office product key um, and then continue. Let me pause this while I do that. Okay, so my key is installed and I click continue. Yes, I'm going to accept the agreement. Click continue. Click install now and the process begins. You just got to kick back and uh, let it do its thing. Uh, and just so that this video doesn't run forever, I'm going to pause while the installation takes place and then we'll take a look at what we got. Okay, so it looks like our installation is done. Uh, you do get this message, some updates were not installed, ensure your version of Microsoft Home Business is up to date, visit the Microsoft update website blah 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 okay so let's close that up and this will run for just a bit more finishing up the installation okay so more than a bit more but it'll keep running for a little bit and uh, tell you what, I'll pause again just so that uh, it can finish doing its thing. Okay, so things finished up. As you can see, we get this little message, Microsoft Office 2010 has been successfully installed. Boom. Click Next. And there we go. And as you can see over here, you got a list of our various programs. Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, Word 2010. Start it up so you can see. And there we go. Now, one thing you will see. Let me close up this activation thing. Actually, I'll tell you about the activation uh, while I've got you on here. Um, you get the activation wizard to pop up 
uh, but for whatever reason, I've never been able to get it to activate correctly. Now, it's not a big deal because after this 30 day gets gets you know gets used up or whatever, um, you know you get a little pop up message saying that you're past your activation period, but everything continues to work. So I guess. And, and I'm just kind of hypothesizing here, um, but I'm guessing that uh, you know whatever Microsoft would do to prevent you from using everything um, is all Windows based. Since so, since we're not running Windows, um, you know it doesn't stop you from using this. So uh, you know. But as you can see, it's all up and running. Now, one thing you will see, it, it, looking at everything here, it it doesn't look as good as it does on Windows, and um, it really doesn't. Um, how would I say? It really doesn't match. Um, uh, you know, like my my uh, my GNOME desktop, it really doesn't match that. But I am about to do a follow-up video where you'll be able to see how to tweak your looks of any program that's running in either Play on Linux or um, Wine so that it'll, um, how would I say it, the, the looks are more integrated with, with what you're looking for. Everything will look nicer, you get better font use, all that kind of stuff. So I'll throw a link up on here um, showing you how to get to that video. And uh, be sure to watch that video so that you can make everything look nice and neat. Um, and that's about it. So uh, give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. Be sure to subscribe so you keep getting this great stuff. And uh, thanks a lot. See you next video.